Welcome back to United Tradesman Academy. Today, we got a quick short video here. I uh, got a call last night where someone, I believe he said that breaker is tripping and a lot of his outlets and outside lights are not working. So let's go in here and diagnose this and see um, what the issue is, see if we can help him out. Okay, so in his room, the lights don't work, but the outlets do work. So, um, let me check power, check power and all these breakers first to find if we got a bad breaker. Okay guys, so this is the breaker box. This room right here, the lights do not work. So that light right here does not work. And when I'm turning the switch on, it's not coming on. So let's go check right here and see if we got a bad breaker. Okay, so everything looks good as far as power. Let's see if these, if these wires are loose. Nothing's loose, so let's go into the attic and see if we can find, if we have a loose, uh, some loose wires um, or um, get over here light. so guys look I'm going into the attic real quick because he's already told me that he has some some work done before um, this this the room I was just in it used to be a garage so he said he had somebody come over years ago and uh, uh, put the outlets in do a lot of other work so I got to go up here in the attic because I believe the issue is gonna be in the attic so um, let's go up there right now and see what we can find. <clears throat> Don't like these small addicts, but <sighs> Gotta do what we gotta do sometimes. So let's check this one. You see how these wires, they're not even in the J box. That box is not closed. Look at these wires right here. See that right there? They're not even in the J box. And look, they use a different piece of Romex to extend this. So let's see if it got power. So this has no power right here. So let's go on somewhere over there. Okay, so let's keep on going. Okay, I'm seeing another one right here in front of me. Seeing this one right here. So, oh, look at that wire right there. See how it's burnt? Look at that. Oh. Okay. Did you just see that? So this is the issue right here. So we need to go back down and turn this circuit off because this is dangerous as hell. Yeah, I know. 
I found the issue. <clears throat> I'm going to take a picture so you can see it. Don't want to touch that shit. This shit. Yeah. So guys, look. This is what happens when the work is not done right. So let's go down and see if we can find this circuit. I'm gonna leave that right there beeping so I can hear it when I go down there and I uh, cut the breaker off. I'll know which circuit is gonna be, so let's go down. Okay, so now we're back at the panel. Let's see if we can find the circuit. I got my tester up there, so I should be able to hear it when it turns off. So that's the one right there. Yeah, <clears throat> so that's the one. Okay guys, so you see the no touch tester? is not not beeping anymore but we want to double check the circuit just in case this thing is not working right no power so I just turned the breaker off so I'm gonna have to put these wires on the J box so it looks like this is going right down to that switch on that wall so we need to go get a J box and put these wires inside of a J box okay guys so now we're back up here first thing we're gonna do is secure this J box down to this wood stud Next, we, <clears throat> next thing we need to do is unscrew all these wires so we can put them inside the J box. So we're gonna cut this completely off right here. Cut all that old burnt stuff off of there. And same thing on this side. Well, let me go ahead and cut this insulation real quick. I didn't bring my blade up here, so I gotta use my knife right now. Which I really don't like using to do that, but.
Pico. Some of these, this is almost too short. Unfortunately, we don't have any more, <coughs> have any more wire to put that on, so. We got a lot of extra of this right here, so. make our joints back up and then we're gonna put a cover on this box <clears throat> I'm not gonna cut this wire down too much because as you can see we only have that much left I am gonna suggest to him that he needs to have me come back and do this to every set of wires up here that's not in a J-Box because this is an extreme fire hazard. here don't want to strip that hole out Okay guys, so now we're gonna go back down and test it and see if the lights come on. So now we're back at the panel. Let's turn the breaker back on. 